it's my hobby gone feral. It's where my brain goes when it's allowed to do whatever it wants to. I just, you know, think in patterns. <laughs> My father taught me how to sew when I was younger, and it was great. I watched him put together a vest and looked at this towering six-foot man with a, you know, a mustache and went, wow, if he can put something together, I can do it, and it was game on since then. It is the hobby that has outlived everything else. No amount of education or training could have prevented this. <laughs> I've been sewing in some capacity or another for about 35 years, and in that time, I've had a, a lot of chances and a request to fix things so things that I see go wrong grommets snaps buttons pulling out I make a point of not letting that happen <laughs> my name is Kevin Kinney and this is the Empire Woolen Canvas Company and I manufacture outdoor clothing from wool canvas and game leather I only make winter clothing. Empire Woolen Canvas is a deep cold winter clothing thing. I've got a niche, and that niche is moderate to slow moving people in very cold weather. <laughs> it's perfect for where we are in 55804 Duluth, Minnesota. But I have found that I, I branched out into some places I didn't think I would go. I sell a lot to Canada, Alaska, and Northern Europe, folks who live and work in cold weather. And they have to have clothing that works the same way every day, no matter what. I purchased this company, Empire Woolen Canvas, about 15 years ago. Um, and with that were three very simple designs. One of them was a wool blanket shirt, like a mountain man rendezvous kind of thing. And for several years after that, people kept bothering me to put a hood on it and put a pocket on the front. And I'm like, no, 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 no. And I finally relented and made one. Um, and wound up creating something of a an instant success. Uh, we called it the Boreal shirt, and um, that was how this started. I do a few now and then, uh, semi-custom, where folks will actually send me a blanket, um, which has become really fun. You know, they get a little participation in the, the thing, and I have uh, been converting them ever since. So I am actually uh, right today building what I'm wearing. Uh, this is a, an Italian officer's blanket, a really good, tough European surplus model. And at this point, I've probably made a thousand or so of these in my time. The business model I operate is direct-to-consumer manufacturing. Um, it is myself and occasionally a couple of home sewers that work for me. It's a fairly high-end product. Um, I have tried putting stuff in stores and they have outpaced me. They can sell more than I can produce. So I realized pretty quickly that the best way to do it was to do really good work as fast as you can directly for a consumer. Whether or not it's a standard size up on a shelf where they can come to our website and buy it or um, somebody sending in a blanket and having me convert it for them. There's really no better way to kind of make a consistent living at it. Um, the trade-off is, is that it is labor-intensive, uh, it is customer-focused. There's a lot of back and forth before I even cut a blanket apart. Um, it's limiting. It's self-limiting, but at the same time, it's very fulfilling. So we've got all four of our panels ready to go. The hood is ready to pop in place. I'll start by uh, just putting this front and back together. Pros and cons to working from home. Uh, pro, for one, I am my own boss. Um, con, I'm a lousy employee. <laughs> the real benefit is I don't have to do anything. Uh, I get to choose what I want to do. I run in the black uh, by design. I, I don't owe the bank. I don't owe the consumer. I, I get to follow my muse where it needs to go. Um, and the con is, it's again, there's no economy of scale. It can be hand to mouth sometimes of the year. Summer is pretty lean. Um, learning to budget is hard, uh, especially for a, a scattered person like myself. I've had a lot of time to think about how to make clothing easier to repair. Because there's really no way to make it any tougher than it is already. I mean, wool has got a definite finite life to it. But if you can make the panels easier to open, if you can make them somehow 
quicker to fix. That adds more value to the garment. And that is done. One Boreal shirt ready for the box. The satisfaction is, is the feedback. Uh, it's, it's the people writing me back 10 and 15 years later and saying, I, I love this, can you patch it up and keep it going for me? Because it's been such a part of my life. Um, and it really is that. This is a lifestyle business for sure. I, I live outdoors when I can any season, but winter is my favorite. Uh, it really has become, and I've been deathly afraid of cold my whole life. So this is, this is full circle for me. Knowing that what we do for recreation is more important to us as people than what our occupation is makes it extra special for me to hear somebody say, hey, look, you really contributed to me as an outdoor person. That's the satisfaction.